We've been delighted to reopen the sanctuary for worship these past weeks. I'm so grateful for the myriad of elders and members who enabled us to do so safely. While it's different, it's worshipful. It's been good to see new and familiar faces. At the same time, we feel the empty pews and we miss those who join us online or on the phone. So we pray and we trust that when our hearts are united in Christ, our heads and even our bodies don't have to be. So online, in person, on the phone, or in our prayers, know that you are important to us and always important to God. This Sunday, I am away with the family and pleased to present a worship service with our brothers and sisters at Houston and Kalel and Kirk. This bitter season brings the sweet lesson that the house of the Lord can never be confined or defined by a building. As the psalmist sings, the heavens themselves tell out of the glory of God. It is the whole creation that sings to God. This earth is our original sanctuary. That starry cathedral of earth and sky that points to the presence of God, nearer to us than breathing and closer than hands and feet. As followers of Christ, we see God everywhere. So for the next few weeks, on Wednesdays and again on Sundays, we will present to you a series of visual blessings and the invitation to stop and to be present to the one who is always present to us. So if you're worshiping online, feel free to hit pause and grab a cup of tea and open your heart's perception to the God who is within and around in this very moment. I invite you to stop and consider today how God is present to you. The whole creation sings of God's glory. This day, how is God present to you? May you find sanctuary among trees and stones and feel earth preparing a place for you to sit and breathe and be. Let the long limbs of branches form a canopy above your head. Let the hills open up a place for you to soar. May the stones form an altar and see how the sun makes everything shimmer and glisten so that everything shines forth from within. Let the tender vine climbing the trunk show you what it is to reach to the sky. Let all the living creatures that gather, winged and four-footed ones, offer a new companionship. See yourself as part of this glorious cathedral. The lake and holy wells are the fonts of baptism. The river rushes carrying gifts down from the mountains. The oaks and sycamore create a sacred circle. The face of the creator incarnate and imminent illuminated with each gaze. Feel the veil between heaven and earth slip away until you know the sanctuary of soil and sunlight. Listen to the sky whisper her secrets on the wind, lifted by wings and song. 